Hello guys, RexBR and welcome back to FIFA 16. Today we're not continuing the Ajax career mode because I want a bit more time to get input on your guys' suggestions for transfer for season 3. So be sure to leave those on that video. I'll put a link in the description to uh, the latest career mode video so you guys can uh, leave your comments there. But today we're going to do a bit of something special because I still wanted to get some FIFA content out. So what we've done here is uh, I've built a team of Eredivisie All-Stars. Basically, these are some of the best players I think that the Eredivisie has. And we're going to use them to take on the Premier League the, uh, in England and uh, see how well we can do there with a team of All-Stars in just one season, simulating all the matches. Uh, I just thought it would be an uh, interesting thing. So first of all, let's take a look at the team. Now, I tried to not just go for players from Ajax and PSV, you know, pretty much the top teams. I also tried to include some players from some lower ranked teams just to give some variety to the team. Um, we have Fischer on the left from Ajax, De Jong as striker from PSV, and then Kuyt from Feyenoord at the right wing. Then we have Ziyech from Tw Twente in our camp position with Guardado from PSV together with Feyenoord from Feyenoord as our center midfielders. Then Willems as a left back from PSV, Moreno from PSV as center back, Flair from AZ as center back and then Tate from Ajax as right back and Silesa from Ajax as our goalkeeper. And then uh, on our bench and reserves we have Aller from Utrecht, Larsson from Heerenveen, Tanane from Heracles, Henriksen from AZ, Bazur from Ajax, Kasia from Vitesse, Johansson from AZ, Rusnak from Groningen, Van Hintem from Pek Zwolle, Kanon from Ado Den Haag and Pat from Groningen. So yeah, 22 players, two for every position and uh, let's, uh, we're going to have to see how they get on. So our league objective in the Premier League will be to reach the Euro League, qualify for Euro League. So that should be a pretty doable objective, I think. Maybe uh, Champions League, but I'm not quite sure if our team is good enough for that. And for the Domestic Cup, they want us to reach a round of 16. We'll have to see if we do that. And for anyone curious, we took out Aston Villa. They are the lowest uh, placed team currently in real life in the Premier League. So I replaced uh, our team with theirs uh, so yeah that's whose place we took okay first one we have four matches we're playing Bournemouth away from home Manchester United at home Crystal Palace away from home and Sunderland away from home so we're gonna go ahead and simulate all these matches and then check out our results we also had a cup match come up but let's uh, check out the results now uh, we drew 2-2 against Bournemouth, uh, drew 2-2 against Manchester United, we drew one all against Crystal Palace, we won in the Capital One Cup against uh, Walshaw, I think that is, and then we won 2-0 against Sunderland. So not the best first month, but uh, we'll make do. Next month we have Leicester City, West Brom and Liverpool. Let's go ahead and see how we do against them. And we had another cup match come up against Southampton, but... First of all, let's check. We lost against Leicester, so our first loss of the season, unfortunately. But we did win against West Brom. We won against Southampton, so we're true to the next round in the Capital One Cup. And we drew against Liverpool. And if we check the league table, we are currently in 7th on 10 points. Norwich in a surprising first place. I did not expect that at all. And for the rest, the top 5 is, is pretty much what you'd expect and Leicester in sixth all right next month I already simulated it let's check the results we lost 2-1 against Stoke we drew against Chelsea and we lost against Swansea and we went out of the Capital One Cup against Tottenham a really poor month let's hope November treated us a little bit better we lost against Tottenham we drew against Manchester City we drew against Everton and we won against Watford. Finally a win. We really needed that. And that currently puts us in 13th place with 16 points. And a goal differential of 0. Yeah, we really need to win some more games. Else we're not going to get close to our target. And Norwich dropped down to 3rd. And Leicester went all the way up to 2nd. Uh, some changes there up the top at the league table. Alright, another... All right, another five games in December. Let's see how we got on this month. We won against Southampton. We won against Arsenal. We won against Newcastle. We won against West Ham. And we won against Norwich. Five wins in one month. Now, that is a great result. 
that should definitely help our case. And now the transfer window is going to open. Of course, we're not going to do any uh, business uh, this season. We're just going to use our team. And uh, hopefully the t board doesn't sell anyone over my head. All right, next up we have January. Of course, we're not going to do any business because we're simulating this with our team that we built beforehand already. So let's uh, see how we do this month. All right, starting off, we drew again in the FA Cup. Uh, but then we won against Sunderland, so that's good. And we won our replay. Uh, we drew against Leicester. That's not a bad result. Drew against Crystal Palace. I would have hoped to do better there. And again, Tottenham kicked us out of the cup. Um, and we lost against West Brom. So not as good of a month as last time. And we've moved up all the way to 6th place now with 36 points. So I think that's uh, pretty close to Europa League position. So we're doing a lot better now. That uh, month in December where we got 5 wins in a row definitely helped us out a lot. Next up, it's February. We won 3-1 against Norwich. Lost against Liverpool, unfortunately. And lost against West Ham too. And drew against Everton. Huh, very mixed results there. Let's hope we did a bit better in March. Uh, we lost against City, won against Stoke though, and won against Swansea, and then lost against Tottenham. Tottenham really seemed to beat us every match we play so far. And that means we are still in 6th place, this time with 46 points. We are quite a few points behind 5th place, so I don't think we're going to quite make it there. And we're very closely chased by 7th place, so... We're going to have to fight hard to keep our 6th place, but I don't think we're going to reach Champions League football. Alright, next up is April. We won against Chelsea, that's a good result. Won against Bournemouth, drew against Southampton and lost to Watford. Ah, uh, that's not what you want. Well, looks like it's time for the last month. Three more games. Let's see what we can do. It's a loss against United, a win against Newcastle and a loss against Arsenal. That's not going to help any. But, well, time to find out our final league position. We ended up in 7th place with 56 points total, a goal differential of only 8, uh, with 50 goals scored and 42 goals conceded, uh, 15 wins, 11 draws and 12 losses. Uh, that's that's not, not awful. Uh, I mean, if you consider our team, we finished pretty much out behind the expected top 5 in Everton. So I, I can definitely live with that. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, Manchester United won the league this year uh, with City, Arsenal and then Spurs. Chelsea finishing in fifth. And relegated were Southampton, Watford and Bournemouth. Okay, let's uh, go take a look at some of the top scorers and such. For our top scorers, the, we have Rooney from United and De Bruyne from City about in 16. But right behind we had Luke de Jong with 15 goals. So he turned out to be a pretty good one. And we also have Kuyt at... 11 goals there in the 14th spot. And anyone else in the top 25? No, it doesn't look like it. Then for assists, Ziyech was the top assister with 11 assists. So that's pretty cool to see. Anyone else with us? Yes, we have Luke de Jong with 5 assists. And that's it. Uh, then for clean sheets, yeah, Silesa only got 7. So nowhere near the top. And uh, probably nobody else for us yet. Yeah, didn't think so. Uh, yellow cards doesn't look like oh yeah we had a few Willems and Kuyt with seven and six respectively and red cards it doesn't look like we got any and just because it's fun let's do a quick squad report and see if our players grew any Silas went up by one Tate up by one Flar went up by two even though he's quite old so that's pretty awesome to see uh, Moreno stayed the same Willems up by one Final Feature up by one Gr Guardado up by 2, Zierch up by 1, Kuyt went down though, Luke de Jong stayed the same, Fischer up by 1, Bazur up by 1, Larson up by 1, Tanana stayed the same, Aller up by 1, Kasia up by 1, Henriks up by 1, Johansson up by 1, Kanon up by 1, Rusnak stayed the same, Van Hintem stayed the same, and Pat stayed the same. But that's that. If you decide to do this challenge, then please do let me know how you got on. Let me know if you finished higher uh, and what team you used, of course. I'd, I'd be really interested to see uh, what other, how others get on with this challenge. And uh, as always, you know, thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, then do subscribe to my channel down below because there's plenty more FIFA 16 coming your way. And leave a thumbs up on this video while you're down there. And I will see you all next time when we continue the FIFA 16 IX career.